Okay, this is a tutorial on drawing on screen. If you got a touch screen, you'll be able to draw on screen with 6.0. And you can also now add stickers. And I'm going to show you how that all works. Inside of photo layouts in the settings, I have already created a layout. But we're going to go into the layout editor to show you how you can add drawing on screen and stickers. At the top of the screen, you've got a pencil. When you point to it, it says add drawing. I'm going to add drawing. It adds a little teeny box here so you can make this any size <coughs> for the area you want You want them to be able to draw on screen or add stickers. Example would be as if you had an area down in the bottom right and you only wanted them to be able to draw in that area and no place else on the screen. You can make the box to fit that area. In this case though, I want to put this drawing on screen for the entire layout. So whatever this area is covering is what they will see on the screen when they get ready to draw on screen. Okay, now drawing on screen has colors, color selection. And when you click the plus sign, you can add up to six different colors. And each one of these colors can be changed. Example, that red wasn't red enough for you, you can change the color of red. The green's not green enough for you, make it darker green. Make it a darker blue, etc. Okay? You can also only have as many as you want. If you only want them to use black and white, you select black and white. But you can check any one of the colors and change it any way you want. Okay? Stickers. Built into the layout editor, there are stickers such as emojis. Okay? To see what the emojis look like, click on the pencil next to it, and it brings up the emoji gallery that are built in. Each one of these are available for the guest as long as there is an eyeball that is not clicked on. For example, if I didn't want to use the bomb, I'd click on the eyeball to hide that one, hide this one, and you can hide the ones you don't want to use. Okay? But you don't want to, uh, you, can't, you can't delete any of the built-in stickers, okay? But you can create your own sticker gallery by clicking on the plus sign at the top, Create Stickers. You're going to name it what you want. New, new Ones is what I'm going to call this, okay? And I click OK. You go to wherever you have your images that you've created for your gallery. And I'm going to scroll down here and I see some balloons. I'm going to add these balloons to the gallery. Okay. I want to add another one to that gallery. I click on the plus sign. I'll scroll down here. And I want to add something like, uh, let's see if I got, grab something quick here. I don't want to waste too much time. I want to add this one here. Okay. So you can add different ones. The ones you have added, you can remove by checking on the X and it removes it. You can't remove the ones that are built in, but you can remove the ones that you have created. Okay, and as many as you want to add in here, the same thing applies. You can hide it or show it. In this case here, I've already created some, emo some icons that I call my icons. Okay, so I've already got a little gallery that I put together. It has a bunch of different things in here, but you can create your own any way you want. Okay, so I'm going to click Close here, and I'm on My Icons. Remember, when you're using the stickers, to make sure you check the Make Draggable box clicked so that it is draggable. Okay, once you've done that, you double check on it to make sure it's clicked. My Icons. And then just click away from that so you've let go. And we're going to go out and do a session now. Okay, now we're going to do a session. I'm going to start the session by clicking on the start button. Get ready. And I'm going to act like a guest because the guest will not always Five, look straight. Four, so if they tilt their three, head sideways, it would be hard to, hard to add glasses Easily. to that unless you can move them by rotating and resizing. So I'm going to show you how that's done with the stickers, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw on the screen. I'm going to click on the black to draw Joe over here with my finger on the screen. The word is Joe. You could make it red, make a little red heart over here if you wanted. 
a lot of different things. You can also do undo to undo the one you just added. I don't want either one of those, so I'm going to get rid of them. But I am going to add Joe uh, over here in white this time. And I'm going to draw Joe just like that. Now, stickers are up here to the left. Whatever the first sticker was in your gallery is the one that shows up there. And you can select one. I'm going to select these noses and put them right on the tip of my nose. Now there is a resize. Nice big resize. You can resize them any way you want. You can rotate them. Okay. But it's not lined up right. That's where you grab the middle of it and move them up to where they fit. Make them fit perfectly right there. And then just click back over here and click a different item. Let's say I wanted to put a goofy looking wig on me. Okay. So now I would click the wig over here. And I'm going to move it and make it bigger and bring it around over here, make it a little bigger. And now that seems to be a little bit weird here. So let me move the glasses out of the way first and then move this over to here. Put the wig on first and put the glasses on second. So I'm going to put the wig on there, grab the glasses over here, put them right up here. And now just click away by clicking on one of the other items. Uh, what else have I got in here? I got a gift. I'm going to put a gift right over here. I'm going to give them a nice little gift in the corner. I'm going to add a, uh, let's add, what else can we add here? Uh, I already got a beard. Uh, ice cream cone. I'm going to give myself an ice cream cone. Make it any size you want. Rotate it around. So you can kind of get an idea that you can add different things. Okay, and I always click away on one of the colors up here to let go of the item you just did. But at any point in time, you can clear, undo the last item that you added, or you can hit clear and it clears everything and start all over. Once you are done, you click OK. One thing you will need to remember is there is no time limit on this because in the prompt section, I have turned off the time for the prompts. Uh, let me show you how that's done in a moment. When we run through here, click OK. It will go through the whole thing of showing you there's your finished layout. OK. And that's the way the layout will be printed you for you. Now we're going to go back into the, into the editing window. And over here, and I believe that was in prompts, Yes, prompt timeout. You set that to none. Because whatever time this is, that's the only amount of time they have to work in that box. If, so if you wanted to limit them to 30 seconds or whatever, or a minute or whatever, you set it for that. If you want to give them forever to take their time, I would suggest if you're going to play with it, to set it for whatever length of time you want by clicking none. But you can have it set up to five minutes, Give them five minutes in the booth, or that's it. Okay, two minutes in the booth, or that's it. The amount of time the guest has to answer the prompts or do the signing on screen, that's what this is in prompts. So your layout is all set up over here, and you can see that's pretty much of how the new layout editor has drawing on screen and adding stickers. Good luck.